Paddling TV is brought to you by Appomattox River Company, the largest canoe and kayak specialty store in the country. We ship anywhere. Call us at 1-800-442-4837 or visit us online at paddleva.com. The CDC and sweep rolls both start from the same setup position. In real scenarios, you need to move to the setup position while you're upside down. But for the sake of practice, we're going to assume the setup position before flipping. The setup position involves having your paddle alongside your kayak with the front blade flat to the water's surface, power face up. Now tuck your head and body forward and turn your upper body towards your paddle. This is your setup position. The side that you set up on is determined by your control hand, which is the one that stays fixed to the paddle. You want to have your control hand up front. This means that if your right hand is your control hand, you'll set up on the left side of the kayak. Once you're upside down, you'll accentuate the setup position. The goal is to get your head and body as close to the surface and as far out to the side as possible. Your forearm should also be pressed against the side of your kayak, and your hands should be holding your paddle in the air. The idea here is that the further out to the side that you can get your body, the more effectively your hip snap can upright your kayak. If you stay tucked under your boat, your hip snap just can't be that effective. This is by far the most awkward part of the roll. The catch refers to the part of the roll where you grab water with your paddle blade for support so that you can hip snap your kayak upright. This is also where the C2C and sweep rolls start to work differently. The catch phase for the C2C roll involves swinging the front paddle blade out to 90 degrees from your kayak with your control hand arm, keeping the blade as close to the surface as possible. The other forearm acts as a pivot against the side of your kayak and keeps the other blade over the bottom of your upside down boat. Swinging your paddle out to 90 degrees is a good test of your flexibility. And in order to do this and keep your shoulders safe, you need to keep the second golden rule in mind, which means maintaining a power position. This simply means that when you swing your control arm out to 90 degrees, your upper body needs to rotate to keep your hands in front of you. One of the best ways to ensure you're doing this is by watching your active blade through the water. Turning your head to follow your blade will naturally rotate your upper body. With your paddle blade out at 90 degrees and on top of or as close as possible to the surface of the water, you'll simply pull downwards on your paddle and catch the water. When you feel the catch, it's time to hip snap your kayak upright. The catch phase for the sweep roll is very similar. The difference is that you'll start applying downward pressure on your paddle as you sweep it out to 90 degrees. Let's take a closer look at the catch phase. The setup for the sweep roll is of course the same, but things change as you start swinging your blade out to 90 degrees. Since you want support from your paddle as you do this, you're going to swing your paddle blade out in a wider arc than you did for the C to C roll. This means that your forearm won't stay against your kayak as a pivot. Instead, that arm should be kept bent, close to your body, and relatively passive while your control hand sweeps the wide arc out to the side of your kayak. Keeping your paddle blade near the surface as you sweep out and pull downwards on it is your biggest challenge. And the only way to do this is with a climbing angle. If you remember from the sculling section of this video, a climbing angle means that the leading edge of your blade is higher than your trailing edge so that your paddle wants to climb to the surface. Of course, you're not going to need a lot of climbing angle on your blade because you're not going to be applying a lot of downward pressure on it. As with the c to c roll, while swinging your blade out to 90 degrees, you need to maintain your power position at all times. In fact, your arm should stay in a relatively fixed position while your torso rotation drives the sweeping motion of your paddle. Once again, watching your active blade is one of the best ways to ensure that you're doing this. Another idea that's important to understand for the sweep roll is that your paddle will offer very little support when it's up at the bow of your kayak, but it'll offer a growing amount of support as it sweeps its way out to 90 degrees, which is ultimately its maximum point of leverage. Since your hip snap relies on this support, it should make sense that your hip snap will get more aggressive as your paddle sweeps out. The recovery refers to how your body ends up in its final position on top of your kayak. If you set up well, use the solid hip snap, and maintain your power position throughout, then the recovery will be relatively straightforward. There's some debate as to the recovery path your body should take after your catch and your hip snap. Most people find that it's easiest to swing their body backwards a slight bit during the recovery phase of the roll because it lowers the center of gravity, although some people like recovering over the front of their kayak. 
There's no right or wrong here. Just use the one that's most reliable for you. One of the most common problems during the recovery phase is an early lifting of the head. As you already know from the hip snap and bracing segments, this causes you to pull up on your top knee and yank your kayak back upside down. Your head should be the last part of the body to return to its position over the kayak. A good way to help ensure your head stays down is to watch your active blade throughout the whole roll. Not only does this help keep your head down during the recovery phase, but as we already looked at, it helps promote torso rotation during the catch phase of the roll. If all goes well during the recovery stage of your roll, you should finish over top your kayak with a slight backward lean, your head and torso turn to face your active blade. As a final note, a good habit to get into is to finish with your wrist cocked back. You can then skull your blade back to the front of your kayak, which provides a little bit of stability. With practice, you can actually use this final sculling motion to finish a weak or incomplete roll.